you remember Anne Riley. Anytime, Annie. Who could forget her? She only said no once, and then she didn't hear the question. <laughs> hey, Arco, must have been tough on your mother not having any children. Whoa. Quiet, all of you. This is still an audition, damn it. And anyone who doesn't want this job, the nearest bread line is around the corner. All right, Mac, get those names and addresses. All right, let's have them. Looking for somebody? The dance director. I'm here to get into the show. Well, you're a little late. They've already picked the chorus. You should have been here at 10. Well, I was. But it took me an hour to get up enough courage to go through the stage door. You're not Mr. Marsh, are you? Billy Lawler, one of Broadway's better tenors. Say, you must be new to show business. Oh, well, I've had experience. How many shows? Any number of them. Such as? This would have been my first if they'd taken me. I'd take you any day. How about lunch? Oh, no, I've got to see the dance director. Okay, then dinner. Or lunch tomorrow. That's very kind of you, but I really must see the dance director. I know a bundle of humanity, she's about so high, I'm merely driven to insanity, when she passes by, she's a sunny little honey, but oh so hard to kiss, I'll try to overcome her vanity, and then I'll tell her this. Wait, I'm young and healthy, and you've got charms. It would really be a sin not to have you in my arms. I'm young and healthy, and so are you. When the moon is in the sky, tell me what am I to do? If I could hate you, I'd keep away. But that ain't my nature. I'm full of vitamin A, say. Say, I have an idea. You're not going to get Andy Lee to audition you unless he's got no choice. Come with me. You do know this song, don't you? Of course I do. Okay, kid, go to it. To what? Your first notes on Broadway. What are you looking for? My good luck scarf. I wore it when I was elected Miss Allentown and Miss Junior L. Come on, kid, sing. <laughs> I'm young and healthy, and you've got charms. It would really be a sin not to have you in my arms. I'm young and healthy, and so are you. When the moon is in the sky, tell me what am I to do? I keep away, but that ain't my nature. I full of vitamins. Who told you to sing? What's my idea, Andy? That's a pretty fresh idea. You, beat it! Oh, give her a break, Andy. She's great. Andy, Andy, Mr. Marsh is here. I've got no time for breaks. Mr. Marsh is here. I'm great, toots. All right, I'm going. Oh, At least oh, give me I'm your sorry. name. Oh, pardon me. Mr. Marsh, excuse me. I'm sorry I didn't see you. I don't know what I was thinking. What the hell was that? She wanted to get into the line, boss. Whose line? Ours or Notre Dame's? <laughs> All right, everybody gather around and listen to me. This is April 2nd, 1933, and today we start work on a new show. You're going to rehearse four weeks, then try out in Atlantic City. You're going to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week. You're going to dance until your feet fall off and you aren't able to stand up. But five weeks from now, pretty lady, it's going to be the best damn show this town has ever seen. You're on your way to glory and 32 bucks a week. So anybody who doesn't think he can take it better quit right now. Nobody? Good. Take a half hour to get measured for wigs and costumes and let's get to work. Okay, kids. Where are you dressing your man? Stop Stop there. Come on, get a move on. Hey, someone left a purse on the piano. It must be hers. The kid Andy threw out. Is there anything in it? Yeah. 40 cents and a card. Peggy Sawyer, 125 Elm Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Look, you go to your fitting and I'll see that she gets this. Okay. 
Julian, that was a great speech, and you won't regret a word of it. Pretty ladies, the best show we've ever written. That's why we're producing it ourselves. And now, with the greatest director on Broadway, we'll Never show mind you the soft soap, Maggie. I need this show as much as you do. Wall Street got you too? You know the old saying. There's a horse's ass for every light on Broadway. Well, I've given all I had to that glittering gulch out there, and it's been a hell of a ride. Okay. So the crash got me down for the count. But I'm still Julian Marsh, damn it. And Pretty Lady's gonna put me back on top. Let's talk about the cast. Best in town, Billy Lawler for the juvenile. Me and Maggie playing the comedy role. And Dorothy Brock in the lead. It's Brock I'm worried about. She's impossible. We have to use her, Julian. She's got Abner Dillon in her back pocket. You know Dillon's kitty car. The kitty car business hasn't suffered from the depression. And he's agreed to put up the whole hundred thousand if she's the star. But she can't. Dance. Oh, put a lot of girls around her. Let her wave her arms a lot. The public will never know the difference. I don't know, Maggie. The easy marsh, here she comes. Dorothy, Dorothy. Don't say a word. I want to do this myself. Mr. Marsh, ever since I was a tiny little girl and saw my first Julian Marsh show, I've dreamed of the day when I might work with the king of Broadway. At last, that day has come, and I am filled with pride, joy, and humility. Thanks, Miss Brock. I'm feeling a little full myself. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to try you out on one of the numbers. Hold on, Mr. Marsh. Dorothy don't have to try out. She's already got her contract. Mr. Dillon, what would I do without you? By the way, there were a few items you forgot to mention, so I wrote them in. Limousine, redecorated dressing room, private maid. No problem about the salary. I just added another zero. Now, see here, Dorothy. Of course, if there's any objection, I won't insist. We'll just peddle our kitty cars, and you can start selling apples. You're not hearing me, Miss Brock. I'd like to try you on one of the songs to see if you can handle the role. If you're asking me to audition, Mr. Marsh, I'm afraid the answer is no. It's not an audition, oh. Dorothy. Julian yeah. just wants to find out if it's in the right key. Try that new one we sent over to you yesterday, Dorothy. You are going to love it. Now, Bert and I see you in this Low down dive. The piano pounds out a hot jazz beat as you enter and sing shadows on the wall. I can see them fall here and there, everywhere. Silhouettes in blue, dancing in the dew. Here am I, baby, where are you? Thank you, Maggie. In the shadows, let me come and sing to you. Let me sing, I want to sing. Maggie. Let me dream a song that I can sing to you. Here comes a big fat dream. Pow! Maggie! Sorry. That was fine. Oscar, try it in three-quarter time for Miss Brock. Julia, Julia we specific. specific. And down a tone. From the top, Miss Brock. I have no intention. From the top, Miss Brock. Uh, shadows on the wall, I can see them fall. Here and there, and everywhere, silhouettes in blue, dancing in the dew. Here am I, where are you? That's fine. Mac, Andy. Yeah, boss? I went two shin busters, one right and one left. Miss Brock, right here if you please. Willard! Yeah! You've got to drop on line 28, bring it in.